Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I'm Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So again, from this thumbnail of the video, I hope you get to know about topic of uh, today's video. This video is again another video on the placement statistics in IIT Bangalore. And today we'll talk about CDS department, that is Computational and Data Science department. Uh, since many years, I'm getting these messages that I'm not making videos about CDS department. So I was trying hard so that I get data from CDS department about their placement statistics and fortunately thanks to one of my friends there who have shared uh, the details with me. Uh, so in this video I'll talk again in detail about the uh, placement scenario for CDS department there in IIT Bangalore for this year that is the placement session of 2023 and 2024. Uh, so if you have seen the last video so in last video we talked about the AI department and the link I'll give in the description or it might come in the i button. You can go and check it out if you haven't watched that video. In this video, I'll talk again in detail about the CDS department part that how many students got placed in MTech and MTech research uh, uh, curriculum. How was the you know highest salary, CTC and base salary? What are the companies which has visited the campus? And, and detail about everything. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned to this video till end without skipping the video. And as I always say before starting the video that don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video because that makes my, view, my video more reachable to other viewers. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Without any delay, let's start into today's video. So there are total 21 students from MTech branch uh, in CDS department who has appeared for the placement. And among them, uh, 15 got placed. Uh, so there are still six people who are uh, yet to be placed in any company when I'm making this video when I've received this data. Uh, but for M from MTech research branch, there are four students and all of them got placed in, in, in some companies. So for, for MTech research, it's 100% done, but the MTech students, there are six people yet to be placed. So if I talk about the overall package details of it, so the average salary, average salary that is offered, the CTC was around 29 lakhs per annum and average base salary was uh, 22.8 lakhs per annum, which is being offered to these uh, different students. And the maximum salary, maximum CTC, which is offered was 48.27 lakhs per annum. And the average base salary, which is being offered is 35 lakhs per annum. Now, if I give you the detail of different companies which has visited, uh, so there is big names like Qualcomm, then Mastercard, Mercedes Benz, uh, Wells Fargo, then Ola, uh, Airtel. So these are the big companies uh, who has visited the campus. At the same time, there are different startups like Fujitsu, uh, then uh, Netradyne, Terebras. So these are different uh, startups also has visited uh, the campus. Uh, so if I give you the detail of different positions or different roles that is being offered, like Qualcomm was offering engineer ML system, Fujitsu was offering software developer, uh, Mastercard was offering AI ML graph engineer, and uh, then also Mastercard also was offering data scientist role also. Ola was offering ML ops profile, Fujitsu was offering AI researcher, uh, then Bajaj Auto has, was recruiting data scientist, Airtel also was recruiting data scientists. So most of the profile that, that is there is related to uh, data science only, except Fujitsu who was offering, uh, I think who was recruited for software developer. But apart from that, all the companies who has taken students from CDS department, uh, they was offering a data science role. Their name can be different. Like uh, some of them was offering data scientist role, some of them offering AI ML system uh, engineer role, but more or less they are uh, data science related role only. Uh, so now, if I give you company-wise detail, Qualcomm was giving uh, the highest one, the 48.27 lakhs per annum, the highest CTC was, was what was offered by Qualcomm, but the base salary was very less. I mean, uh, base was around 19 lakhs per annum. So, uh, apart from that, whatever the 29 lakhs per annum you'll be getting, that is a uh, share value that you'll be getting. Uh, the highest base salary was 35 lakhs per annum, which was offered by uh, this startup called Cerebras. Uh, whose uh, CTC was 40 lakhs per annum, but the base salary was 35 lakhs per annum, which is really, really good. But this is offered to an MTech research student, not any MTech student. Apart from that, MasterCard offered 31 lakhs per annum. Among them, uh, the base was 25 lakhs per annum. Mercedes-Benz offered uh, 20 lakhs per annum, and the base salary was 18.81 lakhs per annum. And Airtel was offering 26 lakhs per annum, uh, both base and CTC. The same thing happened for uh, AI branch students also. So 
you know these companies when they visit different departments they are not offering uh, the same package maybe for ai students they are offering a different package for cds students they are offering different package so based on the interview and based on maybe uh, students performance they sometimes change the you know pay scale a bit uh, from department to department so this was the overall statistics now what are my takeaways uh, from this data uh, from cds department so if you ask me personally pe compared to ai department the placement happened uh, a bit better in the cds department because only six people are remaining out of 21 and all the mtech research students are placed and even even the in the salary are also really good in the cds department if you say suppose qualcom qualcom haven't taken any students from the ai department but they have taken students of cds department qualcom is really a good product based company uh and they are also working in ai ml uh, for quite long time now and even other startups also they are offering good packages so for cds department the placement happened in really really good way compared to the ai branch but again i haven't found any big names apart from qualcom like there is no google there is no amazon there is no flipkart uh, linkedin uh, microsoft research microsoft india uh, and then you know ibm research lab so these companies i feel they haven't visited the campus this time in iisc bangalore because they haven't taken any students from uh, cds department and there is no record that any students from ai branch also got recruited in these companies so most probably these companies haven't visited the campus and that is something very shocking for me because you know if you are not visiting iisc bangalore and i don't know what was the plan for these companies i don't know what whose fault it is if it is a fault from iisc and or from the company and i don't know but they should visit isc bangalore and at least take some students from isc bangalore this is something very shocking for me that most of the companies are actually startups and there are very few names like welcome mastercard and yeah till these companies are visited so yeah this was kind of the overall statistics for computational literacy department student mtech students for this year uh, placement session in isc bangalore so yeah that's it about this video that's it about the placement statistics in isc bangalore for cds department and you know in the upcoming videos i'll try to make similar kind of videos for csa department and for ec and other department also i'm trying to get that data and once i'll get the data I, i'll make a video so i have you have to wait for some time till i get the data and also you know once all the placement is finally done because you know as i was saying you that there are still some students in ai department and in cds department also who is yet to be placed so once the overall placement will be done and hopefully that will be done by this month i'll make a you know summary of all the department and i'll discuss about what was the average salary highest salary what are the company visited so everything will be there in this particular channel and if you want to know detail about it please stay tuned in this channel and if you have any comment and question you can ask me in the comment section i'll try to answer them there and if you have like this video don't forget to hit the like button because once you like my video get more and more reach and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload this kind of videos you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye